Networking is a necessary part of personal, freelance or small business marketing, but for many people it can be a real challenge. For some, even the word, networking, evokes feelings of fear, self-doubt and has them wanting to run for the hills. But if you want to get ahead, you do need to get out there, overcome your fears and be confident in selling yourself, your products or services. With a new year stretching out ahead of us, full of networking opportunities ripe for the picking, now is the perfect time to brush up on your skills and give your confidence a boost. Below are 5 networking tips to boost your skills and confidence. 1. Seek out quality, industry-relevant events. Research and diarize regular networking events and meetups to attend. Make sure that the events you select are relevant to your industry. For most small business owners, time is a precious resource and you don't want to waste your energies at the wrong events. The second part to this tip is to actually attend. This may sound obvious but if you are dreading an event, it can be easy to talk yourself out of going. I liken it to going to the gym, it's not always that appealing to drag yourself there and work out. But unless you actually go along and put some work in you won't reap the rewards. Plus you feel great when you've been and done it. 2. Know how to start a conversation, and end it. Have a few conversation starters and builders up your sleeve. Feeling tongue tied in a room full of strangers won't do anything to boost your confidence or sell your business. Try to avoid saying, what do you do? as generally it doesn't really open up much of a conversation or go anywhere. Alternatives, such as, what is your connection to this event? Or, how did you get into your line of work? Have more scope to get the conversation flowing. And don't forget to have a conversation ender in mind too. Just in case you want to end a conversation and move on. But remember to be polite. 3. Know how to introduce yourself. Have an idea about how you're going to introduce yourself to people. Know how to talk about your products or services succinctly and confidently to avoid rambling. You might even like to practice networking role play on friends or family if you find it helpful. Things can sometimes come out differently to how they sounded in your head, especially if you're nervous. Remember to have a supply of business cards easily to hand also. 4. Pay attention to non-verbal communication. It's important to pay attention to non-verbal communication NVC, when you're networking, both your own and that of the people you are networking with. NVC consists of all the messages that are communicated without the use of words. In oral conversation, examples include tone of voice, speaking style, body gestures, facial expressions and eye contact. For example, if you're nervous when talking to strangers, it can be easy to forget to smile or avoid eye contact with them. Or perhaps you find a fellow networker leaning in to listen more closely to what you're saying, they are interested in hearing more. An awareness of NVC will help you build a stronger connection and rapport with people. 5. Take along a networking buddy. If you're a networking newbie, why not take along a networking buddy to your first couple of events or meetups? If having a familiar face there helps you to feel more comfortable while you're finding your feet with it all, then that can only be a good thing. Make sure you do still try and move around the room though and chat to new people. Try not to be a limpet to your buddy otherwise you won't get much from the networking opportunity.